Hey, if you're watching this video, it probably means that you need to create a YouTube channel. And sometimes a lot of people get confused because they've created an account on YouTube with their Gmail account, but sometimes they need to go an extra step. And this video will show you how to accomplish just that. First, let me show you what I mean. Here we've got Live Pigeon, an app that lets us take pre-recorded videos and stream them as if they're live. Now, here I can sign in with YouTube, and when I click this, we should see something like this. It'll ask us which channel or account do we want to actually go live to. Now, you'll see here that we've got our Brandon Fisher, and this is our actual account. This is where our emails are sent from and that sort of thing. But note, this is not a channel. And if you're not seeing this page, it might mean that you have, don't have a channel created. Now, we actually have a main channel, Live Pigeon, and we have a testing videos channel as well. And in this video, you'll be seeing me create another channel, a third channel up here, and we'll have a second testing channel here and showing you guys how to set that up, how to get that working, how to set, change the icon and everything like that. If you're not seeing this screen, then you definitely need to be watching this video. Now, if you are seeing the screen, you wanna make sure that you click the one that says YouTube underneath it and it's a channel. You don't wanna click the one that has your email. Otherwise, something like Live Pigeon might not work correctly. Now, for this example, I'm gonna click our testing videos and we'll click allow and this will set up just fine. But we want to create a new channel and a second channel, or we're going to assume that in this video you haven't seen this yet, and that you're just signed in under your default account. So once we go over to YouTube and we get over here, we'll be asked to sign in right up here. We'll click Sign In, and we should see this screen. Again, if you're not seeing this screen, and you're, it'll automatically log you in under your email, which our email is info at livepigeon.com. We'll click OK. Now, right now, just being signed in, we have the ability to watch, like, add to our history, and all sorts of things, right? And interact with comments. But we can't have pro features like creating channels. So we can go up here to create, upload video, and this was one way to prompt us to create a channel. Or the most official way, I'd say, is to come over here and click on create a channel right below. If you're not seeing either of these options, or you already have a channel and you want to create another new channel, meaning you're creating another one completely from scratch, that's great. What you're going to do is you're going to come here to settings, and you're going to click here to add or manage your channels. When you click here, it will show you all of your other channels that are currently existing, and it will ask you to create a new channel right here. Note, this is still our owner account. As you can see here, it's not a channel. It says no channel. And this is just if we wanted to interact, but this actually won't let us post videos or anything like that. Here's our main official channel. Here's our testing channel. And like I said in this video, we're going to create a brand new channel. So I'm going to click this button. And this gives us the chance to create and name our official thing. So for this, I'm going to say testing videos number two. Not the most creative name in the world. I'm sure you can get much more creative than that. But for this, this works perfect. We're going to click create. And next, we'll see this pull right up. This is a blank slate, and we are ready to begin going and filming videos and uploading them right here, right now. Now, before we can fully live stream to this, YouTube requires a couple of things. First, let's go over here and click YouTube Studio. Now that we're here in our YouTube Studio, we're going to click the Go Live button. Don't worry, this won't start a live video immediately. This will just bring up some options. But notice how it redirected me. And what's it's going to do is it's going to ask us to verify our account. YouTube requires you to verify your account before they let you really start using all of their features, including live streaming. Now, don't worry. If you already have a phone number on another account, you can use it as this one too. For example, I know it's blurred, but the phone number that I just used is the exact same phone number that I've used on three or four other YouTube channels in the past. So don't worry. It just needs to know that you're human. I'll click Submit. It'll send me a six-digit code. And this code is unique for everybody. Once it's entered, I'll click Submit. And congratulations, your YouTube account is now verified. Woohoo! Although, there is still one problem. When I click Continue, YouTube ready in 24 hours. This will take 24 hours once we create any channel. This is to help prevent a lot of spam and robots and all sorts of trouble with the YouTube side of things. Don't worry, this is just a protection on YouTube's end, and you'll be ready to go in 24 hours. Next. We'll come back up here and we'll click over to YouTube Studio, and this will take us back over here. Now, I think it's time that we add an image to our channel. In order to do that, we'll go over here and we'll click this View Channel on YouTube. This will bring us back to our standard YouTube page, which looks awfully familiar to us. We can click right up here and this will prompt us to add a profile picture. We click Edit, 
and we can upload a photo right away. For me, this is the photo that I'll be uploading for this chess channel. Because it's a test channel, it doesn't really matter. I found this on Google Images, but for you, you can totally make this image your own. Now, I'm going to take this photo and I'm going to click Open. Looks good. I'll click Done. And now, all I've got to do is wait a couple minutes and it'll update everywhere. Once it's added, all I've got to do now is close this out and go back to my YouTube dashboard. Once I'm here, like I said, I have to wait 24 hours before I can live stream to this channel again. One other thing that I highly recommend is that you go to Upload Videos and you upload anything at all. It doesn't really matter what the video is, just find something. For this example, I have Family on the Beach, which is literally just a video Alligator. of people being Alligator. on the beach. And I'll click Open. And it doesn't really matter what the name is called. I can even call it Test. I'll make sure to tell it that it's not age-restricted. I'll come up here to Visibility, and I'll set it to Private. What this does is it tells YouTube that now that you've uploaded your first video, you are officially ready for live streaming. And YouTube's going to take you more seriously in your uploading. These two steps, enabling your channel for live streaming and uploading a, your very first video, even if it is private and nobody will ever see it ever, this gets YouTube ready to give you access to all features and all things channel included. Do note that uploading a video that's private, nobody will see it, it doesn't matter what the content is, it doesn't really need to be done. It is more of an optional step, but I have found better results and less of a headache with YouTube when I upload any video at all, and it just enables YouTube and kind of sends a message to YouTube saying that you're ready to take on full streaming and full anything. Now, once this step is done, I can come back to Live Pigeon, and I can click on Connected to YouTube, Disconnect, and this will bring me back to the screen. Or you might be on the screen already. I'll click Sign In, and now, after putting in my username and password, I can see testing videos number two is right here, which is what we wanted to create in the first place. Now again, if I were to click this, this would break. This is not a channel. This is just a user account. I can like videos, and I can view my watch history on it, and I can leave comments, but I can't upload or anything. Now, one of these three are actual YouTube channels. And by going through here and clicking on any of these, I can start live streaming to it immediately. Now note, I haven't waited 24 hours yet. So after I click this, I may run into some issues. I'll click my new channel, testing videos number two. I'll click allow. And Live Pigeon will get in, and it looks good all at first. Now if I click go live now, and I give it a name, let's give it a name like test and happy cloud. We'll click next, and we'll see YouTube will give us this problem that says, oops, no YouTube channel found. It's okay. That just means that you still need to go through the 24-hour waiting period, and I highly recommend, too, that you upload a video just to make sure you tell YouTube that you're ready. After waiting 24 hours, after going through all these steps, you'll find that all of this will work and everything will connect just the way that it should. And you can go through Live Pigeon, and after those 24 hours, all of your pre-recorded videos will stream to YouTube as if it's 100% pre-recorded. Thank you for watching, and I genuinely hope that this video has helped you today in your endeavors. And with that, Take it easy.